Hello, my name is Evan Ortlieb and welcome to Education for Today. We're going to be looking at the four types of quantitative research design, and they're going to be able to help you think about your own formulating your own research questions, putting it all together, collecting the right uh, types of data, and then thinking about uh, what you can do within your particular context to be able to satisfy those parameters. So let's go ahead and get started. The first type is a descript descriptive research design. And that really seeks to describe a particular uh, identified variable. So for instance, you might have second graders and wanting to know more about how do they spend their time during the, during the summer vacation, for instance, or a description of how parents feel about the COVID-19 school year, right? And so here in these situations, you wouldn't formulate a hypothesis. You would be trying to think about systematic information about a particular phenomenon. And the collection of information really requires careful selection of particular units and variables that you're going to be measuring. The next kind is correlational research. And here you're going to be thinking about the relationship or potential relationship of two or more variables using statistics. And so uh, one example of this one might be like, what's the relationship between academic achievement and student self-efficacy, right? or the relationship between uh, breakfast diet and overall test performance. Uh, so in these situations, you're not going to be thinking about uh, trying to prove uh, that, that X causes Y. Instead, you're just going to be looking at the correlation or the relationship between those variables under your study. The third kind is quasi-experimental research. And here you're trying to seek uh, uh, some, some uh, uh, you know, uh, relationship around the cause and the effect of, of two or more variables. And so in these designs, you can't control all of the contextual factors. So for instance, you're not necessarily going to be doing randomized sampling or, or creating your own groups. You might be able to think about uh, taking existing groups that are in place at a school or in your own classroom and trying to see, uh, for instance, is there effect on uh, from preschool attendance on social maturity of first graders? Or uh, is there uh, you know, an effect from taking calcium on bone density? However, you're not going to be able to completely um, control all of the uh, con contextual variables uh, and, in order to be able to create those groups. And so you're kind of working with what you already have. And oftentimes that's the most common type of quasi-experimental studies that are done within a school context or business context that are not totally controllable. And the final one is experimental research. And here, we're going to be thinking about using a, a truly scientific method where we try to control all the variables outside of the one that's being measured uh, in order to try to think about and manipulate, determine the effects of uh, one variable on another. So an example of this might be, what's the effect of positive reinforcement on overall attitude of students? Also, what's the effect of teaching in a cooperative group versus a traditional uh, a lecture uh, study, if you will. Uh, and then finally, a comparison of the effect of personalized instruction versus traditional instruction on algebraic expressions. And so uh, it's very rare that you're going to be able to do experimental research within school confines, and more than likely, you'll have to revert back to a quasi-experimental design, again, because you can't control all of those aspects. But again, the types, um, uh, are going to be descriptive, correlational, quasi-experimental, and experimental in nature. So those are the four, typically the four uh, categories of quantitative research design. I hope that was helpful to you in some way. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to bringing you more content as we move forward to learn more about educational research for today. I wish you all the